my love for photography is really connected to my love for helping the environment. Everything I see through my lens, I know I can change to make better. I was just walking and I had my camera in my hands and I noticed that there was an absurd amount of litter in the water and along the side of the street. And I kept thinking, it wouldn't take that long to clean this up. From then I went to a borough meeting and I presented the idea and I asked if we could be the cleanup crew of Mount Pleasant. A quarter of a, a mile. Of a mile and, we are trash. and we cleaned it six months ago. <laughs> Ashley and I became friends when we first met. And Ashley came along and was a great help to me. We were driving one day and I uh, opened a pack of chewing gum and not knowing, threw the little paper out. Well, she stopped the car and said, now you go find it, you gotta pick that up. <laughs> and I realized at that time I'd done those things all my life. Never thought about who was going to pick this up. Now I understand, the young folks are doing it. Thank them. When we do litter cleanups in our community, everyone drives by and they thank us and they appreciate what we're doing because they can see the improvement we're making. But whenever our government imposes a new regulation on the amount of greenhouse gases an industry can release in the atmosphere, most of the responses are negative because people can't see how we're harming the atmosphere. My community, it's a small town, is just tucked within the Appalachian Mountains. There are little houses developed with the coal industry. And even though we're a rural town, we still have a lot of community pride. At the same time, we're a world full of environmental destruction from the fossil fuel industries and everything they're doing to our towns. When I was younger, I would go out in my backyard and there are these huge mountains of this black substance called gob piles, the remnants of coal that they use, and they break off before they ship it off to be burned. And this is actually where I grew up, and I lived right over there in the house. And this was my backyard. This was my playground as a child. The coal industry has left me with this huge mound of toxic waste. In the streams behind my house, the water that runs off of them is this bright orange color because of sulfuric acid that is in the gob piles. If this coal ash and all of the pollutants are hurting our environment, visibly, what are they doing to our atmosphere? We need to do something about it because even though we can't see it like the water is orange, it's still affecting the health of our planet and the health of communities worldwide. The harms of coal are kind of rooted within Pennsylvania, but recently there has been a, another environmental destructor Hydraulic fracturing is a process where companies come in and pump thousands of gallons of water and as well as chemicals into the ground to break up the shale and to release the natural gas. There have been tests done on the water supply that has been polluted and the chemicals in it are just full of carcinogens that hurt human health in my area, one of the biggest hydrofracking sites is along the watershed that supplies my county and thousands of its people its water. So most people in my area aren't going to be able to do this. It's ruining the groundwater and it leaves the land useless afterwards. You can't farm it, the groundwater is polluted and you can't let animals live off of it because they can't drink out of it. While hydrofracturing is right now polluting our water supplies, it's also damaging our atmosphere. The wells release high amounts of greenhouse gases into the air. A lot of people don't make the connection between the health of the environment and the health of people worldwide. I want them to go to these communities that 
are surrounded by hydraulic fracturing that have water supply that they can't drink. I want them to see the cancer that it's causing. And I want them to speak with the child who has asthma because they have a coal plant in their backyard. What they don't realize is that environmental destruction is the destruction of human health. I did a lot of research into environmental effects of different kind of pollutants in our environment, such as greenhouse gases. It was incredible how much the climate was changing. A lot of what we're working against are the people rooted within the oil companies and hydraulic fracturing in the coal industry. I really believe that the government should work together with all of our citizens to create a new kind of industry related around green technology. I don't want to have to worry about if we're going to have enough energy to power tomorrow. And I don't want to have to worry about if what we're doing today is polluting the world for generations to come. We're not stuck in this society where we have to rely on destructive fuels to power our everyday. We have the technology to move beyond this. I'm Ashley Funk. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Pennsylvania, and I'm a future engineer and policymaker.